What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Insurance Auto Auctions here in Oklahoma City. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. So what I seem to have found, and, and, and I just stumbled across it, is like, it's like my playground. This is a gold mine, gold mine for someone like me. Old American cars. I mean, they've got other cars mixed in here, but I'm more interested in these old American cars. Look at this old Chevy Astro. It says Gorilla Jams. I don't think I'm all that interested in it. The Hummer, however, maybe. But these are great. These are, these are my jam. You know what I mean? These are the types of vehicles that I love. I know a lot of people don't like Chevy Astros anymore or the GMC Safaris, but I do, man. I still love them. This is a 98 Astro passenger van, non-running, 212,000 miles, and it's a donation. And if you've been following the channel for any length of time, you know I like donations. Okay, well, we're gonna make short work of this one. Don't worry, I got, I got another one coming up that I'm just really, really excited about. Uh, the Hummer H3 I'm kind of excited about too. Oh my goodness. I think this has been <laughs> sitting. Oh, wow. Ooh, rat poop. Oh, that's disgusting. Nope. Ooh, nope. Oh man. That's a, okay. <laughs> that's uh that's different. Um, the cool thing about this Astro though, is it has the French doors. These were really hot items, man. Like this is what, it's all closed up. This is what everybody wanted when they were looking for an Astro back in the day. They wanted the one that had like these, I think they called them French doors. It was just, it was just unique and it was kind of, it was an upper class Chevy Astro if you had the French doors on the back. Over here, another pedal. I think these are all pedal, which means I need to start putting some of these on my list. This is a, another non-running. This is an 07 Hummer H3. I love pedal. I'm just going to say it. I love pedal. And for those of you following for, for, for a while, you know what pedal is. For the, whoa, that's a big spider web, and I about ran right into it. Hello. Um, is there something I can knock that down with? Yeah, so pedal buys all kinds of cars. They buy good cars that run and drive that people don't want anymore, and they just don't want to deal with selling them to the public or taking them to the dealer. Pedal also buys cars that don't run or that run, but they don't drive. Pedal buys everything. So when you buy something, that's bought through pedal from an auction like this, you just don't know what you're gonna get. That's why I highly recommend you go out and actually look at the stuff for yourself. Uh, and even then, I mean, there's no guarantees, but at least you get a better idea of, of what you're looking at. You know what I mean? So highly, highly recommend you come out to the auction, you check out the cars for yourself. I'm going to uh, take this spider web down here. Well, that is a sticky web, my goodness. I don't know what made that, but that was a that was a good web. I like this. I do. I like this. Let's walk around it real quick. The tires are all but worn out. I wonder what's back there. I've never been over here before, guys. I hope I'm allowed to be back here. I've never been over here before. I just stumbled upon these and was like, "Oh man, this is this is my playground right here." Let's see what the interior is like. Actually, smells decent. Ooh, very dusty. Very very dusty. Most of these have been sitting a while. And I know we got a Suburban sitting right next to us. It's probably also, no, it's a run and drive. It is an 02 run and drive, 208,000 miles. I like the Suburban. Something just flew into my neck. Either that or a big spider just bounced off of me. And now I got the heebie-jeebies, man. Ah, I don't know what that was, but it was big. And it, it just hit me in the back of my neck. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, is there no key? No key? There is a key. Of course it's dead. That's fine. I got a jump pack. Let's pop the hood. I know it says it doesn't run, and it probably doesn't. Like nine times out of ten, if it says it doesn't run, it doesn't run. But every now and then, you get lucky, and you find one that says it doesn't run. And it does. Where is the hood release on this? Okay, hold on. There it is. That's a heavy hood. Well, why wouldn't it run? Heck, it looks like it would run, doesn't it? 
let's check the oil. Does it have any? Uh, yes, boy, it's on the low side though. It does have oil and it's covering up the L for low. So I guess it's okay to at least try to crank it. But yeah, it, like I said, it says it doesn't run. It probably doesn't run. That's fine, let me grab a jump pack. At least we can hear it crank. All right, who's ready to see what it does? Hey, if it cranks, oh man, so much dust. If it just cranks, I'd be interested in it. I'll give it a chance, I'll bring it home. Oh. <laughs> eh. I hear a rod knock. No. Oh, and I just fell. Um, so I lied. <laughs> it does crank, but you can hear that it's got very unhealthy compression, uneven compression, and you can hear, I hope you could hear, sound like little pebbles rattling around in the engine. So, uh, a rod knock? Yeah. Probably a head gasket issue? Sure. Uh, so for those reasons, I'm out. So I wasn't going to look at the Suburban, but for whatever reason, I'm like, it's right here. It's right next to us, and it's supposed to be a run and drive, man. It doesn't hurt to at least give it a peek real quick, right? Let's check the uh, trans fluid real quick, because if it runs, my biggest concern is the condition of the transmission. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay, well, let's check the oil then. Just because it runs doesn't mean it runs well. Oh, nice oil too. Okay. Well, this one, this one I think I might actually be interested in. It's got a bunch of leaves under it. I like to see that. It means it's been sitting a while. Uh, gonna have the 5.3. Battery is what? March of 2022? It's a recent battery. Tires. BF Goodrich. Good looking tires. It's a little rough. How's the interior? Actually, the interior isn't too bad. No kidding. This really... This is not bad. Rear heat and air conditioning too? Are you serious? Wow, this is not too shabby. If this really does run, and I love the cloth seats. I like that old school pattern on the seats. You know what I mean? I don't know how well it comes out on video, but if you know, you know. Old school pattern on these GMs. Yeah, let's throw a jump on it, hell. I wasn't going to, I really wasn't. I tried walking away from it, but something was like, man, just go back and look at it. I was just looking, even the brake fluid is relatively clean. I mean, it's gonna be hard to tell I care, but that is relatively clean brake fluid too. This, uh, <coughs> this could be something that somebody took care of and you know, they just aged out of it. Maybe they went with something a little smaller, but maybe there wasn't actually anything wrong with it. Are you serious? It fired right up. The brake light is on. The brakes feel good. ABS lights on. What's the chances the AC works? AC is ice cold. Are you kidding me? Important window works? Less important window works? Rear air? That just kicked on too. No way. No way. Power ports, ashtray. It's even got the books. Are you serious? It's got the books. Oh, that AC feels so good. But does it feel good back here too? Not so much. It could take a while for that to kick on, but uh, that does not feel cold. Wait a minute. Well, it started to get cold and then it went off again. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Nobody cares about the people in the back. It's only people in the front that matter. Let's put it in gear. Four, yes. 
Are you serious? Okay. I, and I was going to pass this one up. I was absolutely going to pass this one up. Let's see the gauges. Oil pressure is good. Volts are good. Fuel, half a tank. Let me turn this AC off real quick. And uh, let me open this door to rev it up. This thing sounds great. Okay. I, I was wrong to pass this up. I've got to put this on my list. This one I want. So I'm sitting here cooling off for just a minute and I had to cool my GoPro down a little bit too. It gets so hot out here. I got here at nine o'clock this morning and it's still just insanely hot all day, every day. So I sat in here and I'm cooling off a little bit. This thing has amazing air conditioning and guess what? The rear AC works. Yeah, it just, I turned it back on and I let it run for a couple minutes and the rear air conditioning came back on. So needless to say, this one is definitely on my list. I got the hiccups. I'm also trying to get rid of those before I continue doing the walk around. But yeah, rear air conditioning, front air conditioning, everything works. It runs like a top. This one, this one I want. I, I'm not willing to spend a ton of money on it, but I'll throw a few dollars on this one, guys. Can you believe this? I'm telling you, I'm in heaven over here. It's a little rough, but when's the last time you saw a Ram Air Grand Am, right? The Ram Air Grand Am. Oh my goodness, I'm in love. And yeah, look at this old Chevy. Look at that paint scheme. Things were crazy back in the day, man. I mean, look at all the detail that went into the paint on that. That is, that is, well, that's a thing of beauty is what it is, in my opinion anyway. Beautiful Grand Am GT. It's seen better days, obviously, but man, look at that Ram Air V6. I personally think it's a wonderful car. I would love to have one. These things, they usually didn't last all that long. They didn't hold up well. Uh, they weren't the most reliable. And the dashboards all love to peel up on these two. This one's really not that bad. Not that bad. It doesn't have leather. It's got nice cloth seats. I think the hood is already open. We might be able to pop the hood and take a look at that. Uh, I don't remember if the Ram Air was functional or not. I don't think it was. I think it's just like an appearance package type of thing. <sighs> yeah. Well, no, it, it, I guess it is functional, isn't it? No, it's not functional. I don't know, something made me, I always thought these were somehow functional. Well, it is, so I guess it rams it from these vents right here, there it is. It rams it from there through this tube and into the intake housing. It's just a 3.4 liter V6, very common engine from back in the day. Uh, notorious for popping lower plenum gaskets. Um, everybody would think they had blown head gaskets and eventually they would because the lower plenum gasket would break and allow coolant to mix with oil and then you'd lose coolant in the oil, you contaminate the oil, damage the rod bearings, while at the same time overheating. So, unfortunately, a lot of these cars got junked for that very reason. Still, nice looking car. It doesn't have a sticker, so I don't know if it runs or drives. What I found is there's so many of these, I don't have enough time in the day to go through all of them and try to start everything for you. So I just kind of wanted to uh, walk through some of them real quick. How about a Dodge Neon, an 03, Dodge Neon, not an SRT4, but that's okay. Louisiana, year uh, 2009. <laughs> that makes me think it may have been sitting here a while, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> or sitting somewhere for a long time. 2009, that's 14 years ago. Oh yeah, 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 nice and rough. There's uh, lots of stuff torn up in here and matches and stains everywhere. It's a typical Dodge Neon for you. Let me make sure that door is closed. Let's continue on and see what else we have. Lots of trucks on the other side. Uh, oh my goodness. Hold, hold on. <laughs> oh, this is the thumbnail right here. This is the thumbnail. Oh, what did they do? What did they do? Can I find something? I've got a... Damn spider webs. Oh, wow. Boy, that's... That's something. Holy smokes, Batman! 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, okay. 2008 Dodge Ram. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You'll see this thing coming a mile away down the road, won't you? That bright metallic blue on that yellow. Oh my goodness. That is no joke. They even... They even did the letters, guys. I mean, they went all the way with it. They went all the way with it. Wow. Well, I give them credit, man. They were serious about it. They, they were very, oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, gross. Oh my, yeah. Lots of rotten food. I don't even care if this one runs. I have no interest in this at all. There is food in there that's growing things out of it. No thank you. No thank you. But I couldn't help but show it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this thing is wild. And here's something else you just don't see anymore. I've, I saw one of these at the dealer auction in a previous video. Just, just last week, I think. Another Pontiac Sunfire. This one's actually in pretty decent shape, though. No run, no drive not really surprised this one aside from the paint this one looks way better than the last one that i was looking at i mean way better and that's not saying much but this one is rough but it's definitely better than the last one yeah it smells like it smells <laughs> it smells real bad I don't really want to get into this and mess with it too much. I, I'm not interested in this particular Sunfire. If I do find one, I want it to be something that I want, which would be a two-door. Whether it's automatic, manual, transmission, I don't care. I just want it to be a two-door Sunfire. And if it needs paint, I can paint it. That's not a big deal. Car donation. So this is like the whole area where their donated cars and stuff are. Another pedal. This is pedal. Are you kidding me? 2011 5 series and it's a pedal car wow that's what i'm saying guys it's not all uh really tore up cars or anything like some of the cars can be pretty nice you just gotta find them look at that this is not bad not bad at all now i don't i don't want to mess with it to see if it runs I don't have any interest in this particular car, but I saw one over here that I've actually bid on several times, and I think it's still going up for auction, so why don't we take a, a little trip over here to this. I have been back and forth on buying this truck, man, and I just, I think I finally took it off my watch list because I decided not to, but now that I'm standing in front of it, I never came out here and looked at it. I never got to come out here and actually look at this truck. It's a non-runner. It's an 87 F-150 from Pedal. It's a long bed. It's got flat tires, four by four. It's got a little bit of damage on the back side over here. Got your gooseneck right there too. Overall, it's not a, it's not a bad looking truck, it's, but it's one of those that I know has been sitting a long, long time long time obviously you got some damage to the bed here i don't think that's that big of a deal um you got wasp nest behind the gas door there yeah it ain't, this one this one's <laughs> oh yeah yeah this one's been sitting a while here's the cool thing though and you got damage to the cab here as well this is the cool part though are you ready for this i believe this is a 5.8 351 windsor with a manual transmission and 4x4. Are you serious? Mileage is showing 90,000. Yeah. Let's pop that hood. This would have been fuel injection if I remember right, but I think somebody converted it to carbureted. I don't know, an 87? You'll have to tell me, but I'm pretty sure in 87 it was fuel injected. But I'm also certain that I saw in the pictures a, uh, a carburetor on this. Yeah. Oh, that's that looks like a 302. That looks like somebody pulled out the 351, put a 302 in it. That's a tiny little motor, and boy, she's been sitting a while, hasn't she? Yeah. She 
She's been sitting a while. You got mud daubers all over the place right there. You've got no belt at all. Um, there's some wires cut right here. Don't know what those used to go to, but they're gone. Yeah, this is one that uh, I meant to come look at it and I just never did. And I was kind of wondering, did it crank? Does it crank? I have no idea. Does it have oil? Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of crispy, crusty things in that engine. Uh, let me plug this down a little bit more. It wasn't all the way in there. Maybe something got contaminated up in it, you know? But I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's a no. Let's take a, take a closer look. Well, she's got oil. It's actually got quite a bit of oil. It is low, but it's got plenty of oil. But again, it looks like there might be some, some crispies in that engine. Uh, I don't know. Should we try to crank it? I think the bite now on this was like 650 bucks, guys. I don't have my booster pack. I'll have to go get it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. For 650 bucks, if we can get it to crank over, I guarantee it's, gonna, it's just going to be a fuel system issue. And it's a lot simpler because they, they converted this to carburetor. So it's super easy to get a fuel system going on this. So I'm going to grab the booster pack and let's see if we can get something going with this one. And I already know what you're thinking. Give it to Monkey Wrench Mike. I don't think Monkey Wrench Mike would want this one, guys. I don't, but I would. I would. This is this is this is real bad. There's I didn't even see. There's lots of mouse, mouse dookie, lots of mouse dookie on the floor there. That's that's good. Yeah, I watched uh, Vice Grip Garage's latest video where he resurrected that that rust bird, and uh, I saw him drive that thing. And I was like, oh my god. I saw him get into that thing. Did you guys see the latest Vice Grip Garage show? It was over two hours long, man. I loved every minute of it, but I saw him cleaning out the poop. And I was like, this guy's gonna get the bubonic plague. I swear, I <laughs> I wish him well, but damn, man, that's, <laughs> he's not afraid of nothing. Uh-oh. Looks like the battery, uh, battery gave it, gave it up there. The booster pack, I should say. It did crank. I'd like to hear it crank for more than two seconds. That would be nice. Come on, bite into it. Bite into, bite into it real good there. The fact that it cranks is a good sign. If it cranks, it could run. And it sounded, for all two seconds, pretty healthy. The clutch feels good. The brakes are non-existent. Oh. cranks it does it cranks now it's not gonna run guys I, <laughs> hopefully you're not gonna be like keep cranking it all I'm gonna do is kill my booster pack I just wanted to know if it cranked over at all and it does it actually sounds pretty healthy um, this is gonna need a lot of work <laughs> it's, going, it's gonna need a lot of work does it even have any brake fluid in it is it possible that it just needs it does, it's full of brake fluid, but there are absolutely no brakes whatsoever on this. And the fact it's got no belt, that's a little strange. Does it have any coolant? Well, so far, that's a no. What about down there? I can't see, so you guys gonna have to tell me if you see anything in it. And this originally, I would have assumed this had a 5.8, but it might it was a 5.0 so this is probably the engine then never mind i thought this had a 5.8 in it but this may be the right engine for this a little 302 5 liter someone just pulled off the fuel injection and converted it over to uh to carburetor to make it a little bit easier to work on i suppose in fact i can still see the sensors on the engine yeah i could still see the wires and the sensors on the engine from when it was fuel injected i guess maybe maybe not 87 i just don't know like right here there's a coolant temp sensor that's no longer plugged in. What do you guys think? I don't know, man. Uh, I think the bite down on this is like 650 bucks. I just don't know if it's worth it. And I think this will be one of the last ones for the video. It's supposed to be a run and drive from Car Donation Foundation. This is a 1999 Toyota Camry. You guys love Toyotas. I have so many of you asking me to please show 
more Toyotas. Well, here you go, a Camry LE V6. I always loved this Camry. I remember when I was much younger, I saw these and I thought those are really nice cars. Cloth seats, something bad happened on the floor there. Not quite sure what that is, but uh, it looks pretty rough. Does it have power? No, nothing over here has got power, guys. I wonder how many miles it's got on it. I'll bet it's over 200,000 and it probably still runs and drives great. Let's pop the hood, pop the trunk. These things hold up so well. They're just well-built cars. There's your floor mats. Floor mats are in the trunk, trunk is clean. No joke. This is not too shabby. Look how clean that dashboard is sitting out in the sun all this time and it hasn't you know cracked pieces hasn't shattered like dodges and chevys they just they just made go oh, this is heavy wow why is that so heavy whoo okay that's uh that hood didn't want to open guess the hinges are sticking a little bit timing belt motor do we have a sticker nope no idea when the timing belt was changed. Oh, it's got miles. Boy, does it have miles. And look at that battery. That's, that's delicious right there. Well, we got the jump pack on. And it seems like, yeah, some things came to life. We got gauges. Let's see what she does. No kidding, 300. 82,266 miles. 382,266. I kid you not. That's. That is impressive. No power steering at all. I don't know if I can get you guys in there close enough to read that mileage, but can you believe that? Sure, you can. It's a Toyota. And, and here's the best part air conditioning? It's ice cold, man. <laughs> it's. I shouldn't be surprised. I, I am surprised. I just shouldn't be. It's it's a Toyota. It's a little rough for sure. Um, again, no power steering. Uh, traction control light is on. ABS light is on. Aside from that, it seems to run decent. Forward, yep. Backward, yep. Brakes, yep. Important window, yes. Less important window, at yes as well. Ah, uh, this is crazy. 382,000 miles. And this thing is sitting here purring like a kitten. Look at the RPMs. They're not even fluctuating. They're just holding solid at a thousand. And it's sitting here out of gas. This car is probably been parked forever. Does the radio work? Yes, it does. This is uh, this is unexpected, that's for sure. So I just sitting here cooling off for a minute and I glanced up and I saw the uh, the date on the oil change sticker. 379, 470 would have been eight of 2020. And it's got 382, so barely over, 3,000 miles over the mileage for the oil change that, that was due in 2020 and it's 2023. So this car has been sitting for about three years had to have been sitting for about three years. It's got a license plate here. Oh, never mind. It's from California. It's a California plate, and it doesn't have a, it doesn't have any stickers on it. But still, three years this car has been sitting, and she just fired right up with the air conditioner running. Absolutely crazy. The temperature's coming up nicely. No check engine lights. The only downside to it that I see so far is an ABS and a traction light, which is probably just a speed sensor. And, of course, the fact that it has no power steering, which... Who knows, it could be a hydraulic line, it could be the power steering pump itself, but either way, for 400, let's just round it up and call it 400,000 miles. That's a very impressive Toyota, very impressive. All right guys, last car for this video, 2015 Dodge Charger 345 Hemi. Total loss. I could already see it took a hit in the back. Look at those wheels though. Asante wheels, those things look mean. Michelin tires, I like the 345 Hemi badge on the side. I like the black. HR 766 
Chargers of Oklahoma. Horsepower rankings participants season two, 2020. I didn't know I didn't know anything about that. Thunder Valley Motor Raceway, I know where that is. This is a clean car, man. And I'm not I'm not all that into chargers, you know what I mean? But this generation I think looks really good uh, all the way up. Uh, the this generation all the way to today. Very, very nice. This thing caught on fire. Um, I thought it took a hit. But this is actually burned. No kidding. So what happened? I wonder if it was an audio system fire. Let me get you guys up in there. Can you guys see anything that I can't see from outside? You know, what's always cool is if the owner of the car gets in the comment section, they're like, hey, this was my car and this is what happened. That's always really cool. Sorry for your loss, whoever you are, whether you see the video or not, man. Yeah, real sorry. That's what a shame. Look at all the all the grit in the windows and everything, man. That is a shame. There's fiberglass everywhere in here. Like strands of fiberglass everywhere. Interesting. Yeah, we probably don't want to be breathing this very much here. Uh, yeah. I like the hood pins. I guess they're, are they, were they functional? They look like they were functional hood pins, guys. Looks like you flip it around, but it's not a, it's not installed very well. I do want to pop the hood. Yeah, yeah. See, this one is installed properly. The other one came apart. All right. Carbon fiber hood. I'm gonna hold my breath real quick. Just want to see what's under the hood. Is it stock or? Uh, does it have some aftermarket goodies? Maybe it's got a pro charger. Woo! Ho, ho, ho. Boys, this ain't stock. <laughs> this ain't stock. And here, I'm gonna be completely honest and transparent with you. For just a moment, I thought this is one of those Mopar people they threw some badges and some wheels on the car and made it look like there's something under the hood, but you're gonna find a cold air intake and nothing else. I want to officially apologize to whoever owned this car, even though you probably never see my videos. I want to apologize to you for assuming incorrectly. <laughs> this is not a stock car. Now, I don't know what all has been done to it, but I can tell you, look at those valve covers. Look at the excellent weld quality. Someone was dropping dimes on all of this holly sniper intake, holly sniper fuel rail, carbon fiber cold air intake, MSD coils. <laughs> I, I've got a hunch, it's just a hunch. I know the rest of the motor looks pretty stock, but I'm willing to bet at a minimum, there's an aftermarket cam in this. I, I, would, I would put money on it that there's an aftermarket cam in this. And being that everything is holly sniper, obviously it was controlled by a holly. Now, where that's at, I don't know. I don't know where the uh, control module is. Maybe it was in the trunk. I want this just for what's under the hood here. I don't need the rest of the car. Truthfully, I take the wheels too. I take the wheels and I take what's under the hood. And I'll bet if I got a hold of my friends over at Holly, because they hooked this up with an entire sniper kit last, what was it? Last year for my 69 Chevelle SS. We did a fuel injection conversion on it and Holly hooked us up with all of that stuff. Holly's been really good to me and I try, when people are really good to me, I try not to ask them for favors very often. I just leave them alone because you never know when you're really gonna need something. And this one, I don't know if it still has the control module, but if it doesn't, if it burned up in the back, I guarantee you I could get Holly to hook us up and we could do something really, really nice with this. Oh man. Whoever owned this car, I'm terribly sorry for your loss, but damn, you got good taste, man. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna get out of here. It is 104 degrees, it is super hot, and you know what? I could stand here and complain about how miserable it is, but truthfully, I love what I do, and I love walking around and checking out these cars for you guys. It is miserable, though. It is really hot. <laughs> Aside from that, I do have some water with me today, and uh, it's not nearly as bad when you stay hydrated. So that's important. Make sure you stay hydrated if you have to be out in this heat. If you enjoy today's content, hit the thumbs up button. And again, I, I, I know that the schedule's a little weird. I'm dropping videos at midnight and I'm dropping videos at noon. 
I have no idea as of the filming of this video how that's working out for me yet. It was just something I wanted to try. Comment below and tell me if you guys like it or if you hate it. If you like two videos a day or if you prefer one video a day. And also, if the schedule's too weird, noon to 12 p.m. for each video, definitely let me know what times you think might work better. I'm going to get out of here, but until next time, I hope you all stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon in the next one.